Reflection is a type of movement or change in a geometric shape. Think about when you look in a mirror. You see an image or reflection of yourself. Notice your reflection appears to be the same distance from the mirror as you are. Notice also that your left and right sides are reversed. It's the same with geometric shapes. For example, when you reflect this triangle in the y-axis, the line acts like a mirror. You can reflect all types of shapes, as long as you've determined the line you want to reflect on. When a shape is reflected, its size does not change, the image just appears flipped. Every point on the shape is the same distance away on the other side of the mirror line. Let's go through the steps using this triangle as an example. When you are reflecting a shape, you don't need to reflect the whole shape at once. Instead, reflect each vertex of the shape. Make sure that each vertex is the same distance away from the mirror line as the original shape. We are reflecting this triangle in the Y axis, so the Y axis is the mirror line. Notice the point A is one unit away from the Y axis. That means the image of the point A will also be one unit away from the Y axis on the other side. The point B is three units away from the Y axis. Therefore, the image of the point B will also be three units away from the Y axis. The point C is two units away from the Y axis. So the image of the point C will also be two units away from the Y axis. We can now join the image points together. And there you have your reflected shape. Now let's compare the coordinates of the original triangle with those of the image triangle. Notice that the X coordinates were transformed or changed to different signs. We can therefore conclude that when a point is reflected in the Y axis, the X coordinates change their signs, while the Y coordinates remain the same. Let's do another example. This time we will reflect a shape in the X axis. Hence the X axis is now our mirror line. Notice the point P is one unit away from the X axis. That means the image of the point P will also be one unit away from the X axis on the other side. The point Q is four units away from the X axis. Therefore, the image of Q will also be four units away. The point R is three units away from the X axis. So the image of R will also be three units away. We can now join the image points together and there you have your reflected shape. Now let's compare the coordinates of the original triangle with those of the image triangle. Notice that the Y coordinates were transformed or changed to different signs. We can therefore conclude that when a point is reflected in the X axis, the Y coordinates change their signs while the X coordinates remain the same. Let us now look at how to reflect a shape in the line Y equals X. This line is a diagonal line that passes through the origin and has a 45 degree angle with both the X axis and Y axis. All points on this have the same X and Y coordinates. When we reflect a point over this line, its X and Y coordinates switch places. For example, reflecting this triangle in the line y equals x. The point A will transform to 4, 5. The point B will change to 1, 4, while the point C changes to 2, 3. If you draw a perpendicular from one point to the line and measure the distance, the reflected point will be the same distance away from the line on the other side. It's the same for all the points and their images. Another interesting line is the line y equals negative x. This line is also a diagonal line. It is perpendicular to the line y equals x and passes through the origin. All points on this line have the same absolute x and y coordinates, except that the signs are different. When we reflect a point over this line, its x and y coordinates switch places and change signs. For example, reflecting this triangle in the line y equals negative x. The point A will transform to minus 4 and plus 6. The point B 
will change to minus 2 and positive 4, while the point C will change to minus 1 and positive 7. Any point can be reflected in any line. We just need to ensure that the original point and the reflected point are the same distance away from the mirror line. So if we pick an arbitrary point 1, 4 and reflect it into an arbitrary line x equals 3, we just need to check the distance from the line to the point, which is two units in this case, and ensure that the reflected image point is also two units away from the mirror line x equals 3. Reflection is a fundamental concept in both mathematics and physics, with numerous applications in everyday life and various careers. Whether it's personal grooming, traffic and safety, designing architectural structures, photography, film production, astronomy, medicine and dentistry, or computer graphics and animation, the principles of reflection are constantly at work, shaping the way we see and interact with the world. Thanks for watching and happy learning.